Hello, fourth year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. I think you are happy because uh, of your results. Yes, muy buenos resultados, ¿sí? Y algún otro no muy bueno, es cuestión de eh, ponerse a pensar, ¿sí? Este um, exam, this exam, yes, uh, is very interesting. Why? Important, not interesting, but important. Why? Because from now onwards, yes, I think you are going to decide what you are going to do, yes? If you are going to uh, continue, if you want to continue, you must study, you must be responsible. If you don't, yes, okay, don't waste your time, don't waste your money, your parents' money, yes, okay, think about it. Okay, este es el momento, para eso sirve el examen global de medio año. Para fijarme dónde estoy parado, no solo vos como alumno, sino nosotros como institución, para ver qué cosas tenemos que pulir, qué cosas tenemos que mejorar, y vos qué cosas tenés que pulir, qué cosas tenés que mejorar. Lo que siempre digo, ser sincero con uno mismo. Ser sincero con vos mismo. ¿Por qué? Te tenés que sincerar. Estuve viendo las clases... Estuve estudiando, no, a mí el método no me gusta. Tal vez el método no te guste, pero no quiere decir que el método no sirva. Porque si yo tengo buenos resultados, quiere decir que el método sirve. Ahora, eh, chicos, el tema se da así. Estamos sufriendo esta pandemia. Así se da el tema, es lo que hay. Entonces... O, que, o seguimos llorando porque estamos en cuarentena, porque no podemos salir, porque podemos hacer esto y porque no podemos ir. O paramos y decimos, ok, yo voy a seguir adelante, esto no me va a ganar, voy a seguir estudiando. Pero con este método, necesitas ser el triple de responsable. ¿Por qué? Porque tenés que ponerte a las 7, mirar tu clase de inglés, estudiar, hacer toda la parada de la clase sin pensar de las otras cosas que pudieras estar haciendo, que podrías estar haciendo en vez de mirar el video de la teacher room. Entonces, esto es up to you. Si quieres seguir, vos seguís aprendiendo, seguís mirando, porque el que mira, el que aprende, es como si fuera que está acá en la clase. ¿Sí? Lo único que, bueno, estamos como hologramas ahora, hologramas. ¿Está? Entonces, es lo que se da. Hay muy buenos resultados, entonces a partir de esos buenos resultados, seguir mejorando, ¿sí? Pero que cada uno haga su autocrítica. ¿Qué me pasó acá? No estudié lo suficiente, no presenté todos los trabajos, ¿sí? Yo lo que voy a mostrar es lo siguiente, que te puse en rojo las partes que tenés que mejorar, ¿sí? ¿Yes? Y si no está en rojo es porque venís súper perfecto. Felicitaciones para la gente que estuvo con muy buenos scores, ¿sí? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos listening. We have reading. First of all, we are going to analyze the mistakes. Yes, all uh, you have all the results because you, during the weekend we were working uh, with all the corrections, not only your corrections, but all the other students' corrections. And we continue with other courses, courses uh, this week too. So um, you have your correction in your classroom. Yes. The writing part, the reading part, all the parts, yes, so you need to open your file, have a look at the mistakes, see if you understand. Yo no voy a mostrar ninguno de los exámenes porque son privados, tienen sus notas. Entonces cada uno at home va a ver su, eh, su eh, mistake, yes, su corrección. Con esto digo que... Ah, otra cosita, le mandamos mensajes a los papás también de felicitaciones. Le mandamos al Facebook, le mandamos eh, al grupo de papá, porque tenemos grupos de cada curso, para felicitarlos, súper de remega archi corazón, ¿por qué? Porque acá la presencia de el alumno responsable que sabe hacer las cosas y que va, se sienta y que ya tiene una rutina, no necesita que el papá o la mamá le esté atrás. Igualmente, lo que yo pienso, this is my opinion, a la edad que tienen ustedes, no tienen por qué estarles atrás papá o mamá. No. ¿Está? El alumno tiene que ser consciente de hacer las tareas y hacer las cosas. 
Una cosa, yo necesito alumnos responsables. ¿Por qué? Porque los papás están pagando una cuota. Si ustedes no me hacen ningún trabajo, yo no puedo seguir a ese alumno que no me, hace, no me hace ningún trabajo. ¿Por qué? Porque me están pagando y yo no estoy haciendo nada, no estoy corrigiendo nada de ese alumno. Entonces, comunico a los papás que no pueden seguir viniendo. Porque es así, chicos. ¿Sí? El alumno que no presenta el trabajo, sí se le cayó internet una vez, dos veces, pero no me pueden decir que no le andaba al classroom. Hay chicos que están trabajando con datos del teléfono. Por eso yo hice el sistema de Classroom. Y no el sistema de Zoom, como veo que por ahí están haciendo en las escuelas y eso. No, yo no hice el Zoom y es, es más, el Zoom me hubiese sido más fácil para mí, porque me conecto, doy la clase y listo. Y sin embargo, de esta manera, yo tengo que grabar cada clase. ¿sí? Porque elegimos este sistema, esta metodología, para que todos tengan la oportunidad de poder hacer el trabajo. De la manera de Zoom, puede ser que se te caiga justo en el horario de la clase del sistema, the connectivity is awful, o cualquier tema. O el papá llevó el teléfono para los chicos que no tienen teléfono, porque se fue a trabajar. Entonces, de esta manera, vos miras el video con datos, con lo que sea. Guardá los datos y mirate el video. 40, 45 minutos, una hora. Entonces, el que quiere, puede. ¿Me explico? Y en esta institución quedan los alumnos que quieren aprender. ¿Sí? ¿Está? Esto, esto es como una gaseosa, Coca-Cola, ni tubito, ni, ni nada. ¿Está? Entonces, ¿qué quiero decir con esto? Que yo voy a comunicar a los papás que la gente, ya comuniqué a los, a los padres, que la gente que no me entrega, yo no puedo seguir trabajando con esa persona porque me están pagando dinero y yo no estoy corrigiendo, no estoy haciendo nada. Si fuese otra persona que es desleal, que es deshonesta, bueno, agarra la plata y listo. Pero yo no soy uh, deshonesta, ¿está? Yo soy honesta y quiero ser honesta con ustedes y quiero ser honesta con los papás. Entonces, planteense bien ¿Qué quieren seguir haciendo? Para mí va a ser una pena que no sigan viniendo, ¿sí? Y bueno, y ustedes se van a perder la oportunidad de seguir aprendiendo. Entonces, piensen bien y sean honestos a la hora de hablar con los papás. Me fue mal porque no hice, porque no cumplí. Ustedes son como un diamante. Yo tengo que pulirlos, pulirlos, pulirlos para sacarle brillo. Si no me entregan los trabajos, no puedo pulirlos. ¿Se entiende lo que quiero decir? Entonces, esa es mi reflexión para lo que resta del año. Ponerse las pilas. Porque no presentar los trabajos, yo me presento y te presento tu video, a no ser que tengamos un problema extremo o que yo esté enferma, no te va a llegar ese video. ¿sí? Pero yo me presento a hacer el trabajo que para, para el cual ustedes me pagan. Ahora, tienen que entregar los trabajos. Porque si no, es una falta de respeto para mí para el trabajo que yo estoy haciendo. ¿Cómo yo voy a cobrar un dinero si la persona no entrega nada? ¿Se entiende lo que quiero decir? Entonces, cada uno, esto no va para todos, va para algunas personas y cada uno sabe para quién estoy hablando. ¿Se entiende, no? Entonces, eh, sincerense, tienen que tomar la mejor decisión que sea para ustedes y para su familia, ¿entendido? Pero para mí, a mí me parece súper injusto que los papás estén pagando un dinero y el alumno ni siquiera hace el esfuerzo de entregar los trabajos, ¿sí? No mira los videos, porque no es que no entiende. Acá se explica, chicos. Y si ustedes me mandan un, un audio o me mandan un mensaje diciendo, teacher, ¿podrías explicar la parte esa de nuevo? Yo no tengo problema. A mí no me ha llegado ningún mensaje de alguna duda que han tenido. ¿Sí? Puras excusas. A veces son puras excusas. Está entonces... Yo sé identificar cuando el alumno tiene un problema o algo por el estilo. Soy muy comprensiva y le digo entrega más tarde, no hay problema. Pero hay que ponerse las pilas. Y hoy por hoy, con esto que nos toca vivir, necesitamos mucho más ser responsables. ¿Está? Otra cosa, eh, los papás tienen ya las felicitaciones que les mandamos, porque el apoyo de ellos es muy importante. Ellos están ahí al pie del cañón, ¿sí? Pagando su cuota, ¿sí? 
y tienen que valorar hoy más que nunca ese tema, ¿sí? porque hay gente que ha dejado de venir porque no están trabajando los padres y no entra el dinero que entraba siempre. Entonces, valoren la posibilidad que tienen. Listo, se terminó el, 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 la charla, ¿sí? Yes? Ok, bueno, so, uh, I told you that if you have in red, si tenés en red esa parte es porque tenés que subir el puntaje, listening, ¿sí? Reading, grammar, nosotros mandamos el puntaje general a los papás, ¿sí? Los que quieren entrar a ver, entran a ver el cuaderno de su hijo. ¿Cuál sería el cuaderno de su hijo? El Classroom. Está, yo puse en el grupo de padres de todos los cursos que por favor entren los papás para ir viendo la, el, eh, el, las notas, las calificaciones y el, pro, el progreso de su hijo. ¿Está? Grammar, writing. Ok, teníamos la parte de writing. Yes, ok. Cada uno tiene su corrección ya, ¿eh? ¿Sí? Ok, después teníamos la parte de grammar. Aquí explico, if there was another option and it was a correct option, I accept it. Ok, so maybe I will say one option now in the analysis, but it wouldn't be, it won't be the same uh, as you wrote, for example. Yes, so pay attention there. I think this book, so for this one you need to... Um, Concentrate on the grammar, know what grammar you have in each unit. Yes, okay? Hay una cosa que está súper, súper, súper mega archivaja, que es la parte de vocabulario. Entonces, for vocabulary, what you are going to do is to make a list on the units. This is my advice. Take it or leave it. Make a list. Otra de las cosas era poner de la A a la Z, así como tengo esto hecho yo, pero con de la A a la Z, y escribir todas las palabras con A, todas las palabras. Un año lo tratamos también que yo les pedí agendas, pero ahora no necesitan salir a comprar una agenda. Directamente compran estos uh, stickers, kind of stickers, separadores, y van a poner de la A a la Z. Cuando nos reencontremos, yo voy a pedir el cuadernito de vocabulario y ahí voy a ver quién hizo y quién no hizo. ¿Está? El que hizo va a aprender y el que no hizo se va a quedar atrás. ¿Yes? Entonces vamos a dividir ¿yes? un cuaderno de la A a la Z y vamos a anotar todo el vocabulario. Hoy, esto no, está ni anotado, no va a estar ni anotado en la tarea ni en ninguna parte, va a estar anotado en mi plan de clase. Cuando nos, re, nos reencontremos, si Dios quiere, yo voy a pedir, ok, can you show me your cuaderno of vocabulary and you will show me. Porque tienen que ir acostumbrándose a hacer las cosas porque ustedes tienen que aprender, no porque alguien les obliga. No es lindo hacer las cosas por obligación. Si están haciendo por las cosas por obligación, ok, oh my God. It's a pity. Yes, ok. I feel sad. Ok. Uh, Está, entonces, ponemos todos los last words, las palabras de la unit. Pones las A. Yes. Yo te voy a decir. Uh, uh, apple, for example. Unit 1. Uh, You, te vas a la U, unforgettable, unforgettable, yes, unit 7, por ejemplo. ¿Es it clear? Yes, entonces esto que esté hecho en un cuadernito de la A a la Z. Ok, well, um, so, I think this boot to teacher roots, it's her. Ok, belongs, y ahí teníamos todos los verbos que son uh, con uh, belongs to, Yes, okay, infinitive, ing, okay, good. My sister, specific verbs, yes, my sister, her best room for three hours. Acá puede ser present perfect, continuous, or present perfect, okay? Is it clear? Then we have just the lunch when we saw them. We have just finished the lunch when we saw them. Yes, you have the past perfect there. 
Number four, in my bedroom, well, esto lo, la mayoría lo hizo bien. I was cleaning, I was so, resting in my bathroom when the phone rang, I was sleeping, the past continues there. You, for the next exam, it's my advice. You should, and the use of should for giving advice, okay? You can use the, this key to infinitive. Acá tenemos to infinitive, ing, yes, okay. Uh, she's 100% sure, she says she will come to my party, okay? El uso de will para, uh, y por eso les puse ahí, está 100% segura, okay? Is it clear or not? Yes, okay. And then we have nine. The teacher told me I might have passed. Yo tengo que usar un verbo modal. Could have passed, might have passed, yes, pude haber pasado, yes, ok. El uso de un verbo modal, ahí, así que ahí teníamos opciones. Uh, number 10, as soon as I arrive, as soon as I finish my career, I will be a lawyer, I will get a job, yes, conditional uh, one, present plus future, ok, is it clear? Wait a minute. Complete the following sentences with, this is the one I told you. Yes? Unique. Me pusieron algunos. Les dejé también. But here is unusual. Yes? Está en la página 22 del book. Unforgettable, page 28. Politely, page 35. Get into, not get in, get into, page 39, take away food, page 62. Y traté de poner las más trilladas, ¿eh? Así que no fui tan cruel a débil, ¿ok? Entonces, así como hago yo, vos tenés que hacer acá, de la A a la Z, unforgettable, en la U, unusual, politely, y les pones el número de página que está en el libro para irte a una reference, digamos, ¿ok? Good. D. D, 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 at the moment, esto que en la mayoría de los, de, de todos, de, 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 of you, did, ok, at the moment, I am thinking about you, if there was another possibility and it was ok, I accept it. Uh, you might think about me, I ever think about ourselves as an us, but, yes, uh, I know that if we haven't discussed it, tenemos un pasado, un, Conditional, yes, I remembered, yes, I remembered, I used to believe, y hoy tenemos repaso de used to, y aparece would también, para repeated actions in the past, así que ojo que se van agregando cositas y se repasa lo otro, siempre, está bueno esto porque agregamos cosas y repasamos siempre lo otro, o sea que no te tiene que quedar ninguna duda con respecto a esta clase, yes, ok, good, y si te queda me mandas un mensaje. Yes, okay. Um, well, number four, was going, used to believe, I used to believe. Number six, couldn't. Yes, acá ojo, eh. I couldn't, acá te dice, I just, I was just sad, no words came to me. I couldn't breathe, breathe, eat or cry, no podía. Yes, but if your possibility was okay, if I consider it, yes, pero tiene pista siempre, eh. Number seven, ojo con el probably, yes? Si te pongo un probably, te estoy dando una pista que viene un will o un won't, yes? Ok? Y estaba subrayado encima también, eh? Ok? So pay attention. Uh, number eight, does heaven exist? Have passed, many years have passed. Hanging out, pusieron acá. Yes, también, y la que yo había puesto era going out. I am going out. Estoy saliendo con un chico nuevo. Yes, ok. But your possibility, if your possibility was ok, I accepted it. Ok. So, number one. Uh, people often, yes, and you have, people often join a club to make new friends. Yes, ok. Yes, good. Uh, I am too fat. I must cut down on. Yes, okay, to stop.
stop eating. Number three. Oops. Number three. Yes. Number three. Have you have you been on this site before? Number four. I will take up the gym. Yes. Okay. You have to take up. Yes. Okay. This was number four. Perdón. Take up. Yes. Start an activity. Take up. Yes. I will take up the gym. Number five. Self confident. Number six. Yes. Otra vez el uso de will, won't. Okay. Para acá se tienen las dos posibilidades porque puede ser que se casará o que no se casará. Yes. Okay. La próxima le agrego otra cosa más. Yes. Para ver, para centrarte si hacerlo negative o um, but both possibilities were okay there. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Seven. The lights turn off the film. Y acá es a lo que me remito, a lo que les puse en los advice que fui poniendo ahí, que quiero que se estudien los usos, porque yes, sí, yo ya sé armar el pasado, el presente, el future, uh, present continuous as future and everything, but yo te dije que si había una evidencia, dice, the lights turned off. So this is the evidence. So you are going to use going to when you have an evidence. Remember, oh, look at the black clouds. I think it's going to rain. Yes. Otra cosa que te introduce el going to es el think también. Y es una evidence. Entonces, eso está todo en la parte de atrás. Más en los videos que, te, que tenías que ver. Todo en el grammar summary. Y el grammar summary tiene que estar highlighted. Ok. Yes, acuérdate que vos no vas a tener una babysitter en tu casa que te esté controlando, porque no te acostumbres a que te controlen. Hacelo por vos. Yes, okay. Um, good. And then you have exercise eight. Yes, clock on. Okay, vieron que acá pongo grammar and vocabulary. And vocabulary is regular in all the aspects. So pay attention, yes. I'm talking about general, in general. Yes, okay. Uh, clock on. Yes, estuvo en la 24 hour society. Que te tenés que ver de nuevo, Camila, 24 hour society, porque cualquier cosa me dijiste. Entonces, yo a veces evidencio que no están viendo completamente los videos, porque se presenta el tema, se desarrolla con una picture. Yes, okay. Hablo, doy el, la charla. <coughs> Number nine. A. Yes. <coughs> I think I deserve a promotion. Sorry. Number 10, we at 8 tonight. We are living at 8, the use of present continuous with future idea. Y este es otro de los, de los puntos que está flojo, chicos. También entraría en vocabulario, ¿yes? ¿Por qué? ¿Yes? ¿Por qué? Porque tenés el word building, ¿yes? Tenés. Noun, verbs, adjectives. Okay, it's a place for homeless, homeless, charitable, charitable, charitable. Then number two, renew. Necesitamos un verbo. Number three, witnessed. Yes, okay, a verb in the past because he said last night. That is the man who was in that robbery. Yes, necesitamos un sustantivo. I need someone to help me with that. Installation. Y ojo cuando paso las palabras. Yes, ok. Is it clear? Entonces, Tiago, quiero que me estudies. Viste que volvió a salir verbos modales en el pasado. Tiago, acuérdate que tenemos todos los moral verbs, can, uh, have to, must, con el verbo en infinitivo. Pero cuando yo me quiero ir al pasado, yo voy a decir present simple. Debo estudiar. I must study. Si vos querés decir esa frase en pasado, vas a decir, I must have studied. I could have gone. Yes, pude haber ido. Entonces, siempre que vas a usar los modal verbs in the past, vas a tener el modal verb, cualquiera que sea, más have, más la tercera columna, que decimos tercera columna para ser más rápido, que sería el past participle. ¿Es clear? Yes. Good. Entonces, volvió a salir eso. Vocabulario, take up. Clock on, yes, ok. Um, Estudiate los usos del future, yes, ok. Um, 
Para las edades, el verbo to be, cuá, 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 cuá. This is fourth year. Ojo, ojo, ojo. No uso el has, ¿eh? Es un error recurrente, pero antes de que se convierta, es un mistake. Antes de que se convierta en un error, pay attention. Bueno, Camila, moral verbs, future. ¿Qué faltó fijar, Camila? Con estudio se soluciona. Yes, ok. Good. Um, ojo, vocabulary, pass. Yes, ok. Joaquín, muy bien. Ojo por ahí, eh, la gramática y el vocabulario, que es lo que te baja. Así que es el tema de no ver las clases, ¿ok? Y acordate que siempre vos sos bueno en la parte de writing, que es lo que te subió la nota, ¿sí? Pero después lo otro, ¿ok? A mejorar. ¿Yes? Ok, chicos, los conditionals, estudiense, los zero, present, present, if present, present, if present, future, conditional one, if past, with infinitive, conditional Two, unconditional three, if past perfect, good half, y la tercera columna. Lo, eh, lo digo como para que quede, para repasar. Yes, ok. So, bye bye unit six, hello unit seven. Bye bye unit six, hello unit seven. Ok, so let's go. I want you to do the date on pages 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. Ok, is it clear? Good, you will have the photo pizarra, as always. Good, muy bien. Yes, all right. Good, good, good. So, let's go. All right, so we have unit 7, 81, 82. Good. 83, 84, and 85. Yes, okay. I have some visitors in the class. Yes, good, good, good. So, uh, well, this is the unit, the, the new unit. Yes, okay. So, what can you see in the photo? Remember this part, you have to do it at home. Yes, uh, I can see. Y habla sola. A mí me encantaba hablar en inglés cuando era más. Bueno, siempre me encanta. But when I was your age, yes, okay, I remember. Uh, we didn't have the lyrics.com, yes. So uh, we have to put the cassette, play it, and rewind it as many times until we could understand Yes, the lyric, yes, yes, okay, of the songs, and we wrote in a paper. So, now, I say, we were practicing real English because we were practicing listening and writing also, yes, okay? And sometimes we have to predict what uh, the singers were saying, yes, because it didn't exist, all these things, and now you put, okay, you know, you know, the song, blah, 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 and in my emotion, my, in my times, or lo que sea, whatever, yes, and you have all the lyrics there, yes, okay, so, but no sé por qué me fui ahí. What can you see in the photo? You, ah, because you, I like talking, yes, so talk at home, on the right, on the left, in the middle, at the top, at the bottom, yes, a yellow, Gooby looks at the camera. Yes, okay. It's in Japan of the Izu Peninsula. Yes, okay. So I think it is in his in its house. Yes, okay. It's in a kind of house. Why do you think it's there? Where do you think the photo was taken? And do you think the fish's natural habitat, a temporary shel temporary shelter, or a permanent home? Yes, okay, so I want you to talk about it at home and I give you the answer. It's a more tropical fish, uh, what looks uh, like a soda can, yes, okay, but it was a kind of, you know, helmet, yes, ah, no, 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 yes, it's a can, yes, perhaps in the sea, perhaps inside a fish tank or aquarium, it could be in any of the three suggested places, okay, so, um, which could be, uh, of course, not natural, yeah, naturally be found in its usual habitat, okay? So, uh, we are going to listen to the three people talking about different living arrangements, 
Yes, and you have to put the speakers with A, B, C, D, F, okay? With the number, numbers and speakers, yes, okay? From speakers from one to three with the numbers, okay? With the letters, sorry. Unit seven opener. One. We're a big family and it's quite a small house. I share a bedroom with my two older brothers. My grandparents live with us too. It's cramped and noisy, but at least there's always someone around. It's the only house I've ever known. I love living with my family. We all get on so well. I suppose I'll move out when I get married. <laughs> I don't know when that will be. Two. I had to move to London when I started work. I saw an advert in the paper for a room in a shared house. Well, it's a flat on the first floor of a big house, actually. My flatmates are away working quite a lot, so it's just like living on my own a lot of the time, really. Especially during the week. Weekends are different. I have to say that living with friends is more difficult than I thought it would be. For one thing, nobody ever wants to do any housework. Hmm. Three. I'm in my last year at college. And I'm really looking forward to finishing and going abroad or getting out of this town. I can't wait to get away from here and be independent. It's going to be brilliant. My sister and I have shared a room all our lives. My family's lovely, but I'd like to have the chance of my own space. Preferably in a lovely sunny country somewhere. Okay, so we have A3, B3, C2, D1, E2, F1. Remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer. Okay? Answers. Okay? The last one wants to uh, be independent. Yes? Okay? So, which of the three speakers uh, do you think is the most similar? Um, is more similar to your ideas? What do you think is similar to you? Okay, now speaker number one, speaker number two, or speaker number three. I have always shared my bathroom, and uh, we were six in my family, uh, my sister and I, my two brothers, my mother, and uh, my father. Yes, and uh, sometimes my grandmother came to visit us, and we want her to stay for three months or four months. So she, she cut a space, yes, in my, in my sister's bedroom, and in, in our bedroom, yes, okay? So I got used to living, yes, with a lot of people. But then when I uh, got married, because I studied here in Formosa, so I continued living during uh, my, stu my studies in my parents' house until I got married. But then I got married, yes, and the thing was uh, that the first six months I really missed the noisy, uh, my noisy family, yes, and we were just only two, David and I, at our apartment. We had a terrace, a big terrace, two, a little terrace that um, have, uh, the, has the view from the Mediterranean Sea. Yes, the beach there, very near, very, very near. And um, another terrace that uh, you could see a very beautiful sea, uh, a very beautiful um, avenue, sight from the avenue. I want to say view. From an avenue, it was John Middle Avenue. It is the avenue, it is the avenue uh, of the Marivent Castle. That is the, um, uh, the, the palace, yes the palace that um, is used for, uh, is used by the, the prince and the princess of, and the queen and the king of uh, Spain, yes, when they go to Mallorca, yes, and it was a very nice avenue, uh, it has a lot of, there were a lot of paths to go, yes, and a lot of shops there, but the thing was that when I moved the first six months were very hard for me because I really missed my noisy family, you know, 
uh, my brothers, my sister, and you know, we, sometimes we discussed and everything, yes, but it was a noisy family, and uh, okay, uh, all my, I have, I have lived for all my life there, life there, I have a chair in my bathroom, yes, and it was hard for me to get used to living just with only one person, but then, you know, I completely changed, because when I returned after almost, you know, 10 years living only with my husband, yes, okay, I got really used to living uh, alone, yes, only with not a lot of people. So when I came, I couldn't stand all the noisy, yes, okay, and I wanted to sleep, yes, and listen to the uh, silence, okay, and everything. Yes, and oh my God, and I say, oh, I need to relax. Yes, I need some privacy. Yes, and it was good. Yes, okay. And um, what about the uh, disadvantages of sharing, having shared my bathroom? Well, there were uh, many disadvantages. For example, the timetable. My timetable was completely different as uh, my sister's timetable. Uh, my sister is uh, five years less than me so i was studying at the teacher training college and i i was working at, at the same time and she was doing the college the school the high school the secondary school so it was completely different because uh she was in another period of her life and i was in another period of my life so the thing was that um uh she was very untidy and I was tidy. She tidies the room, she tidied the room, yes, uh, according to her schedule. And I wanted everything tidied, everything in order, yes, everything clean. So uh, we didn't get on well with each other because of that, yes. But the advantage was that we could watch films together, uh, we could uh, talk yes about different things about different um uh topics yes but um you know there were many disadvantages uh, at the time uh, i had to study i studied until very late because you know in the morning i work it's the afternoon uh i did the, t the teacher's training in college until 11 at night yes so uh, our timetable was uh, difficult, yes, because we, when she slept, I had to study and I used my room for studying. And sometimes it is very, very, um, I haven't lived, I haven't shared an apartment with anybody, yes, but I think sometimes sharing, yes, is very difficult. So if I have to give you an advice, uh, I, my advice could be go and live alone when you study, yes, because sometimes uh, being the company is very nice because you, you can have special moments, you don't feel alone, but uh, when you have to study, when you have to focus on your things, it's, um, okay, it's very difficult. It, it is a big disadvantage, yes, more than an advantage, yes, okay? Well, as I did, I did this, not because, you know, I, I, I want to, I want you to get bored, but it's because I want you to have an idea about the topics we are talking about, yes, okay? So now it's your turn and you have to do it, yes, okay? Uh, which room do you spend most time in at home? It was my bathroom when I was at home. Now I spend time uh, <laughs> in the academy, yes, okay, well, but my favorite uh, place uh, is my bedroom, yes, because I can watch TV, relax, I like reading in bed also. How to um, how do different family members use different rooms? Well, some people use uh, the, gar the garden for reading, uh, other people use the study or the living room for doing homework, for uh, receiving member, uh, other members of the family when they come to visit you, or for receiving friends, the, 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 um, the living room is a place where you can uh, use uh, for having uh, moments with friends, sharing moments, have fun. Do you consider your home uh, a private place just for family or do you often have friends around? I like having, 
privacy, but I like I like inviting friends. Yes, okay. Home. Yes, but whenever I invite, uh, whenever I invite friends or I invite my family, I want everything to be perfect. Yes, because I want to receive them in a very nice place. Okay. Well, so I want you to talk about these topics, and now we go to page eighty-two and eighty-three. Yes, okay. In the city, we are going to highlight all the vocabulary there. Atmosphere, repeat, blocks, built up, financial, neighborhoods, public transport, resident, sky, preppers. Yes, okay, good. Um, yeah. Let's go to exercise one. Yes, I want you to uh, think about it and prepare some... Um, projections to the date. You are going to do exercises one, two, three, four and five from there. Yes. Yes. Where is it? There we go. Wait a minute, please. Are you there? So, you have, let's repeat, atmosphere, blocks, build up, financial, neighborhood, public transport, resident, skyscraper, skyscrapers, yes, ojo ahí, yes, la pronunciación, eh? El acrapers es scraper, yes, okay? Yo lo pronuncié uh, uh, not wrong before, yes, skyscraper, yes? All right, all right. Yes, good. So, um... If you have to describe this place in three words, which words could them be? Yes? Okay? Are you ready? Yes? Good. So, um, whatever. Bye bye. All right. Good. So, uh, you know, where is it? So this is the Central Park in New York, all right? So if you have to use three words, just three words, which words could you use, okay? So it could be big, yes, okay, exciting. What other, other verb could you, other adjective could you choose, okay? Um, crowded. Yes, crowded. All right. Try this at home. Yes, think about adjectives. Yes, and I want you to describe the pictures I'm showing now with three adjectives. Okay? Is it clear? Right. We have London, yes, okay, dictates, okay, cosmopolitan, what else, what else, okay, cosmopolitan, I am not listening very well, okay, famous, yes, famous, yes, what else, yes, noisy, can be, noisy, Good. What's that? This is Madrid. Yes, okay. Oh my God, this is crowded. This is crowded. Yes, okay. Exciting too. Yes, okay. Um, 
Uh, it can be a BC. BC. Yes, BC. Okay. What else? Uh, dangerous? But I don't know. Uh, London, the center of London, uh, the outskirts can be dangerous too. Okay. So let's go to... Um, This is New York, of course, it's crowded. Yes, it's a well-known city. Yes, okay. It's a world-famous city. Yes, okay. World-famous city. Yes, okay. And then you have, of course, Paris, yes, okay, could be international, cosmopolitan, could be romantic, because this is a very romantic city, I don't know why, don't ask me, but when you are there, oh my god, it's, I don't know, it's very, 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 it's a very romantic place, okay, all the, the, the river there and the streets are, are full of romance, okay, well, so I want you a non-stop city. I have a non-stop city because I have prepared everything. Uh, this is a non-stop city for me. Yes, okay? Tokyo. Yes, for me this is a non-stop city. It uh, can be dangerous too. Uh, it's a world-famous city. It's a big city too. Uh, it's cosmopolitan. Okay? Uh, it can be dangerous. Okay? And, well, you know, all the adjectives you have there, okay? So I will dictate you many adjectives and I want you to uh, highlight the adjectives in your book. Yes, okay? Uh, write the, the adjectives in your book. Yes, okay? And think about all the adjectives that you could use to describe the city. Yes, okay? In the libro no pedía eso, pero luego tenía, ya tenía organizado todo lo que íbamos a decir, más o menos, okay? Ah, uh, nota, write it down, write them down. Noisy, busy, world famous, exciting, crowded, international, cosmopolitan, dangerous, uh, high rise, non stop, exciting, cosmopolitan. Okay? So, all these adjectives you can use, and more, yes, you can use this, all these adjectives to describe the city. Yes, okay. Now you will complete the sentences in exercise two. Yes, you will do exercise two, exercise three, four and five. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? And you have before New York. Yes, okay. You have to highlight the word pristine, pure. Yes, and wildness, okay? Ahí tenés world building también. Wild, yes, and wildness, yes, wildness, wi wilderness, yes, an area in a completely natural state. Okay, is it clear? Entonces tenés un, eh, un sustantivo abstracto. De eso se trata word building, yes, okay? Good. I go to the answers, pause the video, do the activities first. Public transport, number two, number two, number one, pub public transport. Number two, financial. Number three, build up. Number four, sky preppers. Sky preppers. Preppers. Okay. Uh, Rascacielo. Muy bien. Residence. Number six, neighborhoods. Number seven, atmosphere. Number eight, blocks. Okay. The street divide the city into blocks. Okay. Good. Um, number three, in the city center, the atmosphere in the restaurant is exciting and cosmopolitan. I like this. I like a city to be cosmopolitan. Um, if I were young, yes, okay, uh, I could, of course, uh, live in another city, in a cosmopolitan city. Yes, Mallorca wasn't a very cosmopolitan city, yes, but uh, when I visited Barcelona, Yes, okay, I really liked it, yes, because it was very cosmopolitan. At, at night, it was a very, there was a very nice atmosphere because you could see um, 
people working in the streets, yes, all the stand-ups in the streets, all the actresses and actors and painters in the uh, in the boulevard, yes, okay, it was very, very, very exciting, very nice to see. I recommend you to go there, yes, okay. Um, the atmosphere in these restaurants is exciting as and cosmopolitan. There's an extensive public transport system. Uh, there are trams and buses to all the suburbs, yes, okay, not in the center, but in the suburbs, yes, okay. Uh, my capital city has got a new financial district. The neighborhoods in the north are crowded and dangerous, okay? It could be uh, exercise three, yes? This is just an example, yes, okay? But uh, you have to write about the place, a place you know, places you know with the words from exercise two. For example, uh, the atmosphere in Formosa is very quiet, yes, okay? Um, we have a lot of neighborhoods, yes, okay? The, the public transport is not very good. It could be better, yes? Uh, residents are nice people, yes? Uh, they like sharing moments with other people, yes? They like uh, getting together to celebrate birthdays or uh, different special days, pardon. Yes, sorry, okay? Is it clear? Good. <clears throat> Can we go to uh, page 83? Yeah, exercise five, sorry, exercise five, number four. Yes, it was a pristine, yes, unspoiled and pure wilderness of forests, marsh and grasslands. There used to be sandy beaches along the coast, yes, and 90 kilometers of fresh water streams. Number two, a family called Morai used to have a farm on what is now Fifth Avenue. Yes, okay, there used to be a farm there. And in 1782, the British soldiers landed near there. Three, you could see forests, marsh, marshes, and grassland, sandy beaches along the coast, and 90 kilometers of fresh water streams. Number five, Sanderson, who is an ecologist, built a 3D computer model of Manhattan Island to show what the area was that the area how to show how the area was like before the city of New York was built. The image shown with the, uh, with the article is of this pristine, pristine wildness. Okay, and it's a very very beautiful photo. A very very nice photo. <clears throat> Number two, for 10 years Sanderson has been leading a project to visualize yes what the area of New York used to look like before the city transformed it. He wants every New Yorker to know that they live in a place with ama amazing na natural potential. Yes, nature is there. Yes, again, okay. Number three, there haven't been any uh, beavers in New York for around 300 years, so the beaver symbolized symbolize the New York that Sanderson was trying to recreate with the map, okay? Well, it was about New York and the story of everything, yes, okay? The image is a very wonderful image at the top there. Okay, well, <clears throat> so I want you to go to page 168, yes, 168, from the, from the class book, and I want you to highlight all the grammar, please, highlight all the grammar we have used to and good in the past simple, yes, okay, so, <clears throat> I will drink some water. So remember when we use <coughs> um, used to, I want you to write your own examples. When I was a child, I okay. I used to play with dolls. <coughs> I used 
used to play with marbles. Yes, I used to play football with my brothers. Yes, I used to play with Barbies. Yes, I used to skip the rope. <clears throat> and I want you to write three sent sorry, three sentences using I used to. Yes, okay? And then turn these sentences in the negative. I didn't used to blah 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 blah. Remember when you have didn't, it goes without the ED. And then we have did you used to? And I want you to make two questions for me. Did you used to play with marbles? Did you used to skip the rope? Did you used to uh, cry when you were very little? Yes, okay. So you have used to plus the verb um, in infinitive. But the thing is that you will go there in the book <coughs> and you will read the uses to talk about past habits. Habits that you used to do, but you don't do them anymore. Is it clear? Uh, you use the adverbs. I used to play uh, with my doll every day. You use adverbs there, okay? Uh, we, all, we always used to play football and ping pong with all my, um, my brother's friends in the yard, in my backyard, okay? Is it clear? So you know the uses, things you used to do, yes, past habits, yes, and states. Acordate. Y tenés el ejemplo que tenés ahí. They used to have, yes, I used to live, I used to have, yes, a big yard, yes, okay? And then you have the use of good, for repeated action in actions in the past. Yes, okay? Entonces, vamos a introducir la primera frase con I used to play in my backyard when I was six. My brothers and I Good play, ping pong and football. Yes, we would sit in the streets with our friends. Yes, entonces todas las que nombres a partir del primer, el, el primero que marcas con used to, van a seguir con would. Yes, esto también dice la gramática. Yes, ok. Otra cosa, we would to talk to repeat his action in the past. Yes, ok. Pero no vamos a usar con estados. Por ejemplo, I can't say, you can't say, I would have a yard. Yes, I used to have a yard. Yes, is it clear? So you use, remember to use would, que es lo nuevo que se nos agrega, for talking about past habits in the past. Pero cuando vas a presentar, the first sentence must be with used to. Is it clear? <coughs> so I want you to write sentences with used to, yeah? I didn't used to play, um, I didn't used to play computer games. I used to play with my dolls. I used to play football in my backyard. I could play uh, with my little sister too. Yes, okay, is it clear? All right, that was all. Yes, okay, um, this is, this must be highlighted there. So can we go very quickly to uh, the activities on the page? 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, okay? <clears throat> Are you there? Now is the time that you post the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. I go to the answers, okay? Exercise 8, 1B, 2A, 3A, and 4A. Good be, past habits, repeated action, okay? Acordate, states, use to, yes? And past habit, repeated action, you use good, yes? Okay, but all these two, use to and good, are for activities in the past, yes? Is it clear? 
Of course, the chart must be highlighted. Yes, okay. Exercise nine. New York used to be a long greener than it is now. Two, the early residents didn't used to live in a large city. Three, people used to farm the land. Four, farmer used to hunt wild animals for food. Five, okay, uh, used to is not possible there because it's a single action in the past, okay? Number six, what used to be in the area where Fifth Avenue is now, yes? Number ten, moved, ojo que acá tenés que completar, past simple, would or used to, okay? Used to stand, three, where, where, number five, used to run, number six, didn't used to go, <coughs> wouldn't go, or didn't go, okay? <coughs> the three possibilities are okay there. I'm sorry, I'm having a problem. Yes, okay. Number um, seven, didn't used to own, didn't own, okay? Both possibilities are okay. Number eight, used to take, would take, took. Number nine, used to have, would have, had. Yes. Number ten, used to go, would go, and went. Te doy las tres opciones, eh? Okay. Number 10, number 11, yes, okay, used to be, the city used to be a lot more dangerous and scary than was, sería, si usabas was, un pasado, yes, a past state which is no longer true, yes, okay. Ojo, que las oraciones 3 y 4, tenemos el pasado del verbo to be, to stay a permanent state in the past. You can use used to. No podemos usar used to en las three and four. In these cases, okay? Eleven, okay? Before I worked, studied here, I used to have a job in a supermarket. Two, when I was in primary school, I used to, I used to, would play with dolls. I would cry. La forma contractive, I before we moved here, my family lived or used to live in, my, in the country. For I remember my first holiday, I went to France and had a fantastic time. Whenever I had exams at school, I used to get really nervous. Six, in my family, our weekends, we used to or would often have a picnic in the countryside. Seven, the first time I went to school alone, I got lost. Eight, as a child, I used to play football in the streets with my friends all the time, as I did. Yes? Okay. Not football, but ladrón y policías and these kind of games. Okay? So, um, well, they are, you have to choose places from the list and how, how have the places changed. Okay? So you have to say, now and then. Okay? So, remember about Formosa, uh, there, there used to be, there used to be a crowded train station, a noisy train station. Um, there used to, they didn't used to be a cross, yes, okay, in the past. Uh, there didn't used to be um, a very beautiful riverside, we didn't, uh, we didn't have a riverside, okay. Um, there didn't used to be many neighborhoods as now, yes, okay, and what else, the train station, there used to be a, a cathedral as always, yes, but now it is more beautiful than in the past, there didn't used to be many pubs as there are now, yes, okay, so I want you to talk about your city now, and then, okay? Good. So let's go to page 84 and 85. 
And now, yes, I want you to go to page 168 again, 168 at the back, yes, and I want you to highlight comparison with others, okay? More or less, yes, okay? More other than. So, this class is more quietly than in the past, because I am alone, okay? You can live more cheaply in Formosa than in another city, yes, okay? So you have more plus another, more beautifully. You can paint it more beautifully, yes, okay? Than what you did, okay? So I want you to write two examples with more, okay? Is it clear? Some comparative other forms are irregular. Ojo con los irregulares, eh? For example, well, better, badly, worse, far, farther, fast, faster, higher, earlier, later, sooner. Okay? Is it clear? So, the opposite of more, other, is less. So, you will put less often than. Yes, more plus other is less plus other. Yes, okay. Less, yes, quickly. Yes, less uh, quietly. Okay, I want you to work more quickly. Okay, good. And then you have not us. Yes, write your examples, please. Okay, so. Not us plus the adverbs. Ahora tenemos todos los adverbios. Eh? Martina can run as fast as Silvia. I can work as well as you. Silvia can run the same speed. Okay, I don't, I, uh, I don't go out as often, as often, as often as I did. Yes, I don't do exercises as often as I did before the quarantine. Yes, that's a pity. Yes, okay? Good. Well, is it clear? So, focus on the adverb now. Yes, okay? And then you have comparison pattern. Yes, like we always, you have comparative. Yes, uh, more beautiful than. Yes, okay? Um, taller than. Yes, higher than. Is it clear? The most beautiful woman in the world. Yes, she, uh, this is the highest building, okay, the one that you already know, but I want you to highlight it, yes, okay, so say situation is changing, we use comparative and uncomparative, this is getting colder and colder, yes, okay, this is getting more and more, more and more boring without you, without you, okay, so then you have comparative adjective, yes, okay, I'm going to be later and later, yes? Is it clear? More and more plus now, yes? More and more people are getting fat because they are not going to the gym, yes? Okay, and then you have, we use comparative plus a clause plus the plus comparative, okay? If you work hard, you'll be more successful, yes? Okay, this is a conditional, all right? The worse the weather is, the more traffic there is. Yes, okay, the most, the, the worse the weather is, the more traffic there is. Yes, okay, is it clear? The harder you work, the more successful you are. Yes, okay, the higher you climb, yes, <laughs> the higher you climb, yes, the more um, successful you'll be, you'll be, ok, ok, entonces tenemos, usamos esos comparativos con una clause, ¿qué quiere decir la clause? Una clause que lleve eh, de más el comparative, yes, ok, más sujeto, más verbo, ok, the harder you work, the more success you have, yes, the higher you climb, yes, the, lo que sigue, ok, cuanto más altos escale, Mejor vas a llegar, o mejor vas a estar, yes. Okay, is it clear? The worse the weather is, 
the more traffic there is, okay? Good. Uh, sometimes we use this structure with only a noun, a phrase, instead of a clause. The taller the mountain, the greater the difficulty, okay? The more, yes, blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay, is it clear? The taller the mountain, the greater the difficulty. Okay, is it clear? So, estos son los nuevos patterns que tenemos, ¿sí? Tenemos more or less plus adjectives. Yes, okay. You can live more cheaply. You can do this exercise more difficultly, more easily. Okay. Uh, more quickly, quería decirlo de los ejercicios. Yes, okay. And then you have as us. Yes, okay. Martina can run as fast as roots. Yes, she cooks as well as my husband. Yes, okay. And then you have the, the comparison pattern. Yes, okay. Colder and colder are más el comparativo, más el and. Yes, más frío. More expensive and more expensive. This is very easy. Yes, okay. More and more plus a noun. Yes, more and more people visit this area. Yes, are visiting this area. Okay, and then you have the comparative. The harder you work, the better you will be in the classes. Is it clear? Okay. That's all. So I want you to, es, es cuestión de leer y subrayar toda la gramática, chicos, por favor, and write your own examples. You have here, yes, more quickly than, less, da, 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 not as quickly as, she's not, as, uh, this is not as cheap as I thought. Yes, okay? And then you have the irregular, and then you have the comparatives that are smaller and smaller. House prices are going more and more quickly, going up. Yes? Okay, and the higher the shifts, the safer you are. Yes? Still. Still. Yes, okay? Is it clear? The less you eat, yes, the better you are. Yes, okay, good. Well, uh, exercises, I want you to go to page 84. We are going to do the listening. I want you to highlight the words bricks, clock, rock, and wood. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So let's go to the listening. Think of a question that you'd like to ask to each homeowner. Okay, so we have a house A, B, C, and D. So you have, uh, these homes are into a rock, yes, in Turkey. Then you have B, yes, it is uh, in Western Mongolia. Then you have a wooden house, yes, okay, on stilts, yes, okay, after plants, in Cambodia, Cambodia, yes, Cambodia. And then you have a more a mother terrace house in Borneo. Okay, so uh, think about the question you would like to ask the owner. Yes, about the materials they used to build the house. If it was difficult or easy to use these materials, what are they made of? Yes, and think about in which house would you like to live and why? Yes, and if you don't choose any of them, why not? Okay. So, uh, I want you to go to the listening, read it first, and we have to solve the activities there. Are you there? Okay, there we are. Track 56, Unit 7B. 1. As an architect, I'm interested in everything about house design, but we can learn so much from traditional buildings and designs. Traditional houses usually survive bad weather conditions better than modern ones. So the question is, what can we copy from those houses when we build new houses? Like the rock homes, you know? They heat up less quickly than brick houses, which is great in hot climates. All right. Two. Well, a shelter is a lot less permanent and more basic than a house. The igloos that people build with ice in the Arctic region are a perfect example of a shelter. A shelter just protects you from the weather, but a home has several spaces with different uses. 
Three. I'd say a girl is both a shelter and a home. It's organised around a fire in the centre with a chimney, and it has separate areas for men and women. A girl isn't as solid as a brick or wooden house, but you can take it down and put it up much faster, which is what nomadic people in Mongolia need. Four. Well, it all depends on the local weather. I mean, if you live in an area that has regular floods, it's a good idea to live in a house on stilts. That way, you can live much more safely above exactly. the water, and you don't have to worry every time it rains. Or... Okay, so you have stilts. Yes, okay. Yes, it's very, it's necessary. Yes, stilts. Stilts. Yes, they are necessary. Yes, if it is a place where, you know, usually uh, you have, uh, where you have floods, usually. Yeah, where you usually have floods. Not. And the higher the stilts, the safer you are. Five. I think that modern homes are fairly similar wherever they are in the world which doesn't always mean that they are the best designed for every situation. In our crowded cities, modern houses are getting smaller and smaller so that they can be built more cheaply. Unfortunately, sometimes modern houses are also built badly. They don't work as efficiently as traditional houses. They need central heating in winter and air conditioning in summer. Yes, uh, that would be a question, yes. How do you heat the place? My question, for example, in one of the, in the houses, how do you heat, for example, in, um, uh, in sea, yes, but you know it's a tropical place, but in winter, what about the heating? And in summer, yes, what about the air conditioner? Yes, okay. So uh, this could be a, a, a question on the tools they use for building, yes. Because the first question could be, what are the houses made of? But then, how you make it for uh, um, heating the house, if it is a cold place, yes? Or for uh, making it cool when it is um, cold, yes? Or cool when it is uh, summer. Because, for example, here in Formosa, uh, you know, we have to, we need, it is a must to have air conditioner and, conditioner and everything. Uh, you know, because we don't use heating, the central heating is not, central heating is not important here because it's most of the time, you know, we are in almost July and it's still very, very hot. Yes, so uh, what, could, what could be very important in Formosa is about the air conditioning. Yes, okay. Uh, how you make the house cool. Yes, okay. Cooler. Yes, okay. Well, so I want you to do exercise three and exercise four. You will listen again, yes, and I will dictate you the answers. Stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. A1, B5, C4, D2, and E3. Number four, weather, brick houses, wooden house, water, smaller, modern houses, and traditional houses, yes, okay? So I want you to go to page 85 that is the last page and i will let you go yes okay uh you know you have to highlight all the charts yes okay eight and nine eleven twelve and thirteen is speaking yes okay discuss the way discuss the ways of doing these things what advice could you give someone who wanted to do each learn english more quickly what things this person should do do uh, better in the exams, you should study and focus. Live uh, more cheaply, yes, okay, you should earn money. Eat more healthily. Um, first of all, you should make a list on the things you are going, you have to buy. Then you should uh, decide, yes, what uh, food you would eat in the uh, breakfast, in the lunch, Yes, in the, um, as a snack, yes, what things you should drink, only water, yes, or orange juice, yes, apple juice, fruit juice, okay, and what things, uh, first of all, make a list, 
organize the things you are going to eat. Go and buy, yes, using the list, yes, to eat more healthy, yes, okay, uh, healthily, yes, okay, because we are using more plus an adverb here, yes, okay, more quickly, do better, cheaply, more healthily, uh, spend more wisely, yes, okay, shop more sensibly, yes, okay, uh, uh, an advice to shop more sensibly is that you make a list on the things you really need and buy the things you really need to buy, okay? I will dictate you the answers, exercise 8, 9, 11 and 12, okay? Are you there? All right, there we go. More quickly, better, faster, worse, more cheaply, as easily, okay? Is it clear? So, number one, I repeat, more quickly. Acordate que vas a usar el more quickly cuando viene la seguidilla de un verbo. Yes. I wrote it more quickly. Yes. I finished it more quickly. Yes. Tenés un verbo y acordate que siempre los adverbios modifican a un verbo. Yes. Better, faster, worse, excess, eh, five, you have. We rent a large house. Acuérdate que tenés ahí el verbo, entonces vas a elegir y te da la chipli, que es un adverbio. ¿Ok? Pero te voy enseñando para que vayas distinguiendo. As easily. Number nine. Yes. Girls do as well in examples as, in exams as boys. Or girls don't do as well as boys in exams. Or girls do better than boys in exams. All girls do less well than boys in exams. All the possibilities. Number three. Children learn more or less quickly than adults, or children don't learn as quickly as adults. Number four. Women don't work as hard as men, or women work harder or less hard than men. Exercise 11. Go wrong more and more often. The greater the number of residents, the lower. The monthly payment is the cheaper the place, the better getting higher and higher. Yes, number 12. The more you study, the more you learn. Yes, fewer, the better, angrier and angrier, the smaller, the better, more and more quickly. That was 12, okay? So, that was all, I hope... Uh, you have understand everything. See you next class. A big kiss for you. Congratulations because of the good results. Okay, bye-bye.